Hi guys, welcome back to Fixing Lawnmowers for Profit and today we have this Mountfield SP454 self-propelled petrol lawnmower and uh, basically the guy that we fetched it off basically told us that uh, it's got a carb issue so we're going to take that off today guys and we're going to show you how we actually fix the carb and the jets inside the carb and uh, hopefully we're going to get this machine running today Right guys, we're going to start by taking the air filter cover off. So you can just pop these two clips in here a lot. Just removes the air filter cover. That's that guys. You sponge and then you cover. Let's pop that to one side. Then secondly, I'm going to use this socket. Standard 10 mil guys. Takes all bricks and stratton's uh, air filters and carbs off. Well, majority of the time. Uh, I'll save these guys because uh, these are good for chucking parts in you need to take stuff off like mowers and that machines and that just bang them in there like that just pop it down there on the floor jobs are good and stops from losing your parts it's quite common in this shed to be honest with you just uh, that twists off there like that which is a uh, air filter cover this is a carburetor guys and uh, get your gasket here, it just slides off it just slides off like that guys and uh, then you've got your spring assembly so you've got your choke here a lot on this top one and then uh, the second one here is uh, your throttleizing and your governor spring it's basically easy to get off guys just uh, twist that there like that hold it there with your finger and it uh, just pops up just like that look nice and simple and just grab hold of that one there guys and just pop that one up there like that they two stay together at the back and uh, throttle eyes in this one's a little bit trickier because it's in this uh, yeah, like ours in here if you can see this guys so this one's a little bit trickier hmm just gonna get a screwdriver You might have to just help me pop that one off, Dad. They're a little bit trickier, they are. Then again, the eyes, use these for everything. Just catching fuel out at the uh, top of the tank. Been on there a while, that one has. Right, guys, so we've just got to pop this fuel pipe off here and uh, start by. Uh, Nah, no, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't normally recommend these guys. These are obviously mole grips. Uh, I'm obviously going to put these on the pipe, but I would. I would not recommend these at all. It's because obviously it's got a full tank of petrol in it, and the petrol that's in it is actually quite good, guys. So what I'm going to do is I just. I'm just going to squeeze them on there lightly, like that, guys. And uh, I'm just going to start the fuel. I'm going everywhere. Just bear with me two seconds, guys. I need to do, uh, just tighten them up a little bit. <laughs> right, 
Right guys, so uh, I scrapped the mole grips. I didn't actually use them because uh, there was a, uh, well, they weren't doing what they were supposed to be doing. So uh, I emptied the tank anyway, guys. I didn't show you me emptying the tank because obviously there's no point in me showing you me emptying the tank. Everybody knows how to empty a tank. But straight back onto it, guys, and I'm gonna re remove the carb. And basically what you wanna do from there, guys, is just nice and steady. Just, you know, just a little tug on it like that. Like that. that pops up there like that, guys. That twist up there, like that. And you've got to get this like all sh shoe bracket, or you can just pull it all out in one, like that, guys. That is your choke. Do not lose that. It just slides in there like that. And just you can leave it there, guys. Right, we're going to get in onto uh, obviously deassembling the carb and reassembling the carb, cleaning the jets, main jets, idle jets. I'm going to show you guys how to do it and how I do it. Alright, so I've got the carb off guys, got it on the bench. I'm just going to uh, whip bowl off and uh, we're going to start taking jets out. So, standard 10mm again guys. So, we we'll start by taking this nut out at the bottom. It's been dry for a long time. That's the bowl guys, I'm going to show you how to clean that and all, and inside here is your jet, so we will remove that guys and we'll show you how to clean that and all. The flathead screwdriver, and uh, just push it in, but you've got to keep it central guys, make sure you keep it central, if you don't keep it central, you will end up scoring the threads just inside the carb there, and uh, if you do that, then it's uh, all new carb. So you want to push that in there guys. Put pressure on it if you don't put pressure on it you will actually take the top of the jet off put pressure on it like that and just just twist nice and easy guys once that's all right guys just flip the carb over like that back end of the screwdriver the jet drops out there the main jet and the idle jet guys and we're just going to show you how to clean them piece of piss Two minutes in shed, and uh, we should have her up and running. All right. Start by this little tiny jet, if you guys can see that. But, uh, it definitely looks like it's blocked. I don't know if you can see through there, guys, but it's definitely blocked. So to me, that's not taking no fuel for me and my trusty old airline. Best bit of equipment I've got in shed, this says. This does me everything. And we just put the uh, jet guys up to the uh, nozzle of the uh, compressor. Just uh, and just blow it out like that. Nice and clean that is now, guys. Just both sides of the jet. Now nah, that guys, I don't know if you can see through there. And that now nah, is absolutely beautiful. That. And same again. With the uh, idle jet guys, just blow through it again. Make sure all these tiny little holes inside the uh, jet. Make sure you blow them all out and get them nice and clean. What I like to do is uh, just uh, put my compressor to them like that. And just blow down them. Top and bottom guys, same again. All right. Once we've done that, we can start assembling the jets back into the carb. But, first things first, I'm just gonna have a little blow round, just here, round here, and down the uh, housing itself, just to make sure there's no shit in there guys. Sometimes that can cause a problem. So, airline again, carburetor. What I like to do in oil is, just hold, hold the uh, brass slider like that, just so it doesn't drop out the um, housing when you're blowing it. Just nice and steady, guys. Just under there, like that. Make sure, that, make sure you all get that shit out. And then down there. Look at that, guys. Jobs are good, then. 
Right. Start by assembling the jet. This to the bottom, that to the top. So just in there, there like that, guys. It just drops straight in there like that. And then your main jet just drops straight in there like that. Make sure you get it central. Don't get it cocky handed, guys, because you will strip the threads on it. And uh, screwdriver. To the point where it gets tight, guys. And then same again. Pressure. And then just uh, lock it over once. And uh, that's the carb, guys, all right? So obviously, the bowl assembly, it's got some shit in it, if you guys can see that there. But what I like to use is this trusty old tool. I've got it on a, on a old drill, and it's basically like a wire head. And do what we do is obviously push that to the bottom of the bench, and then just whip around there like that. We'll show you the results, guys. Paintbrush, good, good, uh, good tools these are. and clean. Make sure there's no bits in this. And that's the bowl now guys inside the bowl. Right, so assembling the carb, guys. So, bowl, carb. Sometimes, normally, you get a little gap between here, like this lot. So, if you just spin it so it's flat, you get your nice point on it. When you make sure it's flat, get your knot straight in there, like that, guys. No problem. And, uh, Trust the old 10mm again, guys, and just lock her off. Uh, and that's it, guys. That is how you assemble clean the carburetor. Right, guys, assembling the carb onto the machine itself. We'll start by the choke. You just want to grab that out of the art in itself. Pretty simple. You put that on there like that. Start always like that because it's a lot simpler. Or you'll, have, you'll be having a lot of trouble trying to get it through there. So what I like to do is push that in there like that. So it's in there. And then, see that guys? Just slid straight on that. Look at that. Nice and simple. Your uh, throttle spring. Same again guys. That slips just straight on there like that. Your governor spring. Straight on there like that guys, and look at that, jobs are good then, petrol pipe, just push it straight on, like that, no problem guys, get your o-ring clip, that just pushes straight onto there, and that's your carb assembled guys, now we're moving on to the airbox assembly, so, back of the airbox, but first things first first guys, don't forget the gasket, a certain way that these gaskets go on obviously make sure the old to the top of the carburetor here guys is uh, actually the way you assemble it there's no wrong and right way but make sure you put it on the right way just pops on there like that guys nice and simple all right moving on to airbox nice and simple 
your breather pipe to your air, air inlet. Basically, you just want to push that on there like that. That's that assembly board on there. Slide them over these two 10mm threads like that. Get your two 10mm bolts. Always 50-50 on guys, don't do one first. I mean by tightening one first and then tightening the other one after, because you will cock out of the uh, air box. Always remember 50-50 the uh, threads, so it gives it that nice even finish and it closes the air filter. Make sure there's no air getting between the carb. So. And that's that guys, then air filter as in or the air filter cover or whatever you guys want to call it nice and simple sponge just sits in there like that clips onto the bottom rear like that pushes up clip 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 jobs are good then right it's fire guys to keep us nice and warm in shed because it does get a bit cold here during winter time but that's not what we wanted to show you we want to show you this the beast. <laughs> right, so um, we're going to swap the plug over. That's the plug that we took out. Looks a bit naff. You can't, you can never tell with the plugs if the uh, if they're naff or not. To be honest with you, but uh, we're going to swap it out for this nice brand new NGK one. Look, guys, cut that straight out the box. Beautiful that. Cut that. Mm mm. Beautiful. Right, so we're going to put this in the machine. Sometimes these are a bit tricky to get in, you know, because of the uh, tight space that you've got. Long reach. This is a bit of a weird one, actually, guys. This this says it's 10 mil, all right? But look at the size of the opening on that, guys. I think it's a 10 mil, obviously, um, spark plug spanner. It's got the uh, rubber inside it. It protects the uh, plug when you tighten it up. But uh, it's a bit, bit, bit of a weird one, that one is. So extension bar, ratchet again guys, snip it up. Don't too, do it too tight guys, you will uh, strip the threads. That's that, nice and, uh, nice and simple guys. HD cap, just uh, pop it straight back on the spark plug. Nice and simple like that. And that's that guys. Right guys, so we always start with a uh, fresh litre of fuel. Always, always, always fresh fuel. Never use the old fuel that's in the machine. You don't know how long it's been stood, or it's been standing, or if it's bad fuel or not. Petrol tank, open, cap on there, fresh fuel guys. I love the smell of that petrol. All right, so just under half a litre in. Cut back on. And that's that, guys. All right, so we're just going to check the throttle, guys, and uh, the choke in that, make sure everything's uh, working properly. So we've got the choke assemble. So we've got choke on guys, choke off, choke on, choke off. Seems like it's working pretty uh, well. Uh, brake, brake's working well. And self propelled cable guys, you don't see that because obviously the mechanism's underneath. So now we'll take it outside guys and see if we can get this uh, machine started. Right guys, so the moment you've all been waiting for, starting the machine. So after all that guys of uh, carb cleaning and that air filter cleaning, fresh fuel, 
new plug and that, so we're going to try and start the machine. Uh, these stupid things on here, guys, are backwards, you know. It says that the choke on here is down, but it's, it's actually not, guys. It's back there like that. So, starting the machine. Braking, guys. Always remember, pull the braking before you start the machine. If you don't pull the brake in, it'll pull tension on the pull cord and you'll end up just snapping it. All right. Right guys, and that is how you maintain, fix and mount field SP454 self-propelled petrol lawnmower. And uh, don't forget to let me know what you guys think. Obviously smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our brand new YouTube channel.